one of the ways in which a video can easily capture the attention of the audience is by you using a clean, colorful and creatively animated design. What I mean by this is, while creating a video, you need to pay attention to the image quality or the video quality you are using for your project. Make sure to use an image or a video that is of high quality. Another thing you should also take into consideration is the color combination. You know, color blending also matters. Make sure to use an attractive color. And when looking at this video, you can see the color alone will attract you the color combination. And also, another thing you should also take into consideration is how your work art is being animated. Okay, guys, my name is Dr. Victor. You're welcome to my channel. For my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you for all you do. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and also turn on the bell notification so that you will be notified anytime i drop a new video so without wasting much of our time let's get into business don't fail to subscribe like and comment okay guys to get started you need to click on your image asset to bring in a plain background which you are going to work on so i have these and this is my background Okay, after getting your background, this is not the color you want to use. So you click on where you have color to change the color to what you'll be working with. So I have this and this is my color and this is okay. Now after having my color, the next thing I want to do, I want to bring in my materials to start animation. Okay, so the first material I'm going to bring in, I'll click on my layer, then click on media to bring in a circle kind of circle so to do that i'll click on this white background so once i click on this white background you come down to where you have cropping to crop this rectangular shape okay so i have this i'll click on cropping and once i click on cropping i'll try to crop this to have a kind of square now once i have that i will align this I'll turn this on so that it will enable me to get a particular shape that I am looking for so once I do this I'll click on where I have shape and once I click it you can see we have different kinds of shape you have triangle a kind of blow of a star and I need a circle okay so I have this if you look at my circle it is not perfect so I can go back here go out do this then have a perfect square here then come back and now I have gotten the circle that I need it is round and I believe I'm okay with this so having have my circle I'll also choose to reduce the opacity of the circle I will highlight the circle then come to my opacity then reduce it to about 94 okay and that is good so I'll drop it somewhere here and I might choose to do this. Okay, so this is it. The next thing I want to do, I will use my handwriting tool to draw another circle. This time around, it's going to be a kind of frame of a circle. So I'll click here to change the color to white because I need a white color. Then come to where I have this pencil and change it, change it to this. Okay, so I have this and I'll still leave this at this point. Then I'll use my hand and draw a circle okay so once this is okay and I'm okay with my circle my choice to enlarge it to this point okay so I have something like this I'll fix it at the middle then I have this here also at the middle here okay so I have that then I still need another circle and I'm still going to use my handwriting tool to get that so I'll click on my layer then my handwriting tool then once you click on your handwriting tool you come here you change the color because this time around you need a different color so once I do this I will increase the weight of the circle so to increase the weight of the circle I want it to be a little thicker I'll click here 
now once i click here i uh, will increase to something about this nature okay once that is okay i will now hold my hand to that is it now if you notice the blue second frames that i just drew and that of the white the the thickness are not the same so that is it okay so once this is this you position it somewhere here and you have this and if you feel you're okay with it that's fine can have something like this okay and this is okay okay so this is okay so the next thing you want to do you want to bring in other materials to animate so i'll come back to my layer then media then i'll still use a plain background and i'll choose white then i'll change the color subsequently so i'll still go back to my crop to change this to a square and i have this and i'll enlarge it like this to have something like this and drop it at this point then come to where i have color and change this color to this okay so this is what i'll be working with so i'll click on it to take it to the back then click on this three dots so you have the three dots to take it to the back so once you click on the three dots you will automatically send it to where you have sent to the back and that is it so i have that so once i achieve this the next thing is i want to animate i'll add some animation to this work so i'll click here click on in animation and i will have enter slide left okay so i have something like that and i can reduce the duration so i have that then i don't also want this to come in immediately so i'll click here on trim and trim left so it, you can see it has a little gap before it actually slides in okay so i also have to go ahead and animate this one and here i'll be needing a pop effect and the duration i want it to be very snappy so i have this so i'll still do the same thing to this first one here i'll still use a pop effect okay and also reduce the duration okay to have something like this in this next i'm writing i had an animation but this time around i wanted to and draw by stroke so i have something like that okay so that is perfect okay so once this is done and i have something like this okay so the next thing i want to do i want to bring in my image so i'll click on my media then meet i'll click on my media then locate the material i want to use so i have this here okay so having this here i'll bring it here if you notice that also lapses so what i'll do i'll try to crop this and also give it a kind of circular shape so i'll have this i'll crop it to this extent here then turn this on come here and have a circle then with this you can see the edge has been trimmed okay so once this is it i will now position it here and have exactly what i have so if it is not fitting in well you can go ahead and redo it to have what you need so having achieved this the next thing you want to do you also add an animation to your work so you click on that clip then you click on your in animation and you add it enter slide up okay so you have something like this then if you're playing this you're going to have something like this okay okay so that's perfect so you go ahead and add other things so i also need another and writing stroke so i'll click here but this time around i'll change this to be this to this a kind of screen then i also change the color to give me a proper color then i'll change the way to be something very thin okay so having done that i'll click here and just and have something like this okay so once this is it and i'll send it to the back because i want it to be at the back okay so this is perfect so, so having done that i'll will have to animate it so i still want it to be a draw by stroke and i'll reduce this here okay so that is it so having done that i'll go ahead and bring in other materials so if i'm bringing in other materials i'll click on my layer and this is it okay so i have this here 
if you notice because i use i did this using canva i still have the green screen background there so i'll click on my chroma key then turn it on and the green screen is good so if i have something like this i'll place it here and send it to the back as well then i'll duplicate that to have something like this then i'll still send this other copy to the back then adjust it to this position okay so once this is it i'll still animate those two and this time around i want them to enter slide right and i have something like this i'll do exactly the same thing to the next one okay so this is it and this is the result i have this and now it's pretty nice okay so the next thing i'm going to bring in i'll still bring in more materials that i want to use so I'll click on my layer to bring in other materials that I will be using and I have something like this and I do this. Okay, so once I position it there, that place is okay and I'll still send it to the back and I have something like this. So the next thing I want to do, I also to animate my work as well. I uh, will have to add an animation so I click I'll go to wipe effect and I'll click on wipe right okay and so that is it and this is perfectly done okay so once this is done I'm done with everything and the next thing I want to do I want to add my text so I'll click on my text here and once I click on text I'll type in my text and this time around I want to type in modern type modern slides so i have something like this okay so this is it and this is cool then i'll change the font i'll come to latin local then i'll choose monsterat monsterat black and this is it i have this then i'll change the color to black and this is it and i'll have something like this position it here Okay, so if I so wish and has shadow to read then reduce the duration to be small and with this my work is done then I want to animate my modern slide so I'll click on in animation then half scale up then reduce the duration and I have this okay so this is perfect so I want also feel to add my alt animation and all the alt animation is going to be slide right to exit slide right so you click on your alt animation and you had exit slide right to all of them and reduce the duration to be this tiny so you do repeat the same thing slide I'll slide right and that is it so once have this is done you bring in the next clip and so it will be the same process and before you know your work is done so it's as simple as this so you're done adding bringing in your text and every other thing the next thing you want to do you had a background music so you just click on your audio and add a suitable music to your work so what once that is done you see your work is complete so it's as simple as that so if you find this video useful please give me a thumbs up subscribe and also turn on the bell notification for for that video that will be coming on your way so stay tuned for further videos on this channel thank you